What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Crane's Comic. Today, uh, I'm going to show you how to get free, that's right, free digital comics. So stay tuned and let's just jump right into the video on how you can do this. Please stay till the end of the video where I will share with you my personal library card for the city that I live in so you too hey, can just listen. jump right into the app, use my card number, and you are set to go. So let's just jump right into it. So first off, you're gonna have to download um, this app right hey, here. It is listen. called Libby. And uh, I'm gonna jump into my phone, like do a screen record. So take you step by step to what you need to do in order to do this and how you can get free digital comics from your local library. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. It's not a, it's, it's not gonna be an in-depth video or anything, but I will uh, share my screen so you guys can follow along with me. Let's go. Disclaimer as well, if I do look down quite a bit in the video, it's because I'm actually looking at my phone, so. Okay guys, uh, what you're looking at right now on my screen is my uh, my books that I have in my profile. Uh, I do have, let's see here, I do have this Daredevil book right here. I also have this um, Chip Zdarsky X-Men Fantastic Four, this Catwoman book, and then this volume one of Catwoman as well. So the best way to do this, the best way to do this is to get your graphic novels because that's going to be the top notch books to get you obviously can't get single issues. So just do graphic novels. So as a test, what I'm going to do is, so um, this is the app here. So say you're looking for Let's just go ahead and do a search, okay? I'm gonna do this Catwoman 2018 Volume 1. I'm gonna try to get Volume 2 because I'm almost done with Volume 1. So you go into the search menu here, you type in what you're looking for. Right now, I'm using the New York Public Library System. You can get a free one. Your card is only good for 30 days, but if you go to the New York Public li Library System, um, you can apply for a card and then you can use it. So that's what I do. I just renew mine every, every 30 days. So if I type in Catwoman, it'll show you everything that is available to read. You can also get audiobooks on here too. So there's an actual Catwoman novel, um, but this is the ebook right here. Here's Catwoman Volume 5, Volume 4, Volume 3, and Volume 2. I believe this Volume 2 is the one that is ready to go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click borrow and then what it will do is it'll take me over to my Amazon that I linked to this app uh, and then you basically just check out or borrow this book and then you can read it through your Amazon app on your phone. So hit borrow, it'll, it'll go to borrow, it'll go to the borrow screen. Next it will open up and now see down here where it says read with Kindle, um, you click read with Kindle. It'll automatically open up, it'll go to Amazon.com, and it'll say, get library book. Also too, you'll notice at the top right hand corner where it says Michael, like, so you do have to log in to your Amazon account in order to do this, but you click get library book, it's sending it over to my Kindle app. You can, like if you have a Kindle e-reader, it'll send it to there, but on the comics, I do prefer I do prefer to read on my phone uh, because color, like everything's in color. On the actual Kindle, like I have a Kindle Paperwhite, it's black and white. So if I'm reading manga, I'll read on my Paperwhite, but uh, like a graphic novel, I just read on my phone. So it's, it's in my Kindle now. So I'm gonna hit my home button, search for my Kindle. So there's my Kindle app. I click it, I open it up, and it should just automatically download on my Kindle app. So this is just the comic that I've been reading, the graphic novel, it's um, volume one of this Catwoman. So you go back and then see right here, right beside the first one is the second one. So if you click it, it'll open up and this is loading. And now you're ready to read this comic. Like it's 100% on your app. You can go through, you can read, do whatever you want to. Now, the cool thing about this this Libby app is you can get multiple library cards. I don't know here. We'll go back into Libby and I'll show you my library cards that I have set up to get. So, okay. Okay. So right here, if you go to, um, 
okay so you go to the middle button with the three lines down below that's where I clicked it'll show you my library so I have one for twins twin city metro e library Seattle st. Uh, Bernardino County Chattanooga which is mine and I will share that with you at the end of this video uh, Multima I don't even know where that is Harris County Library and then also the New York Public Library so I have all these cards and the more cards you get the more options or the more chances you get to find that graphic novel or that comic that you're looking for um, I do like New York because New York has such a, a wide variety on it so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, share my library card with you um, I'll go ahead and put it in here so you guys can kind of see how that process works so let's go to well I don't know if I can delete it but I'll go ahead and add it so I can show you guys how to add a card to this so you go to add a card and then you type in your card number so I'm gonna go grab my card and then we'll type it okay so this is the part of the video where you might want to pause it um, just because I'm gonna type in my library card and then you guys can use this as well to get other graphic novels and things like that and like I said Chattanooga is not the biggest city so I would suggest going and getting your own from New York um, I always just use Midtown Comics as my home address and it seems to work fine so there's there's that information so you type in your card number Okay, so I've typed it in. Go ahead and take a screenshot of this or a screen grab. And then um, you, you go to sign in. So I'm signing in. And it's already showing that I'm linked. Um, so I can rename the card. So, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative and I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, again, leave a comment down below if this is a way that you read digital books. Um, I do this all the time so just let me know I'm really curious um, it is 2022 so let's go ahead and I know comics are expensive especially whenever you start getting into your bronze and silver age comics um, if you if you're not close to a comic book shop or anything like that so thanks guys for watching have a great day and as always like what you read bye